All greetings, brothers and sisters of Christ. Uh, today's message is about the kingdom of God. And like always, it's going to be really good. So why don't you, with faith, add it to your favorites and give five star before you even listen to the message. That's how good it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to talk about the kingdom of God. Like there's this uh, one preacher in Korea. He he's like really uh powerful in the gifts and the anointing, and the power does not leave. Like in like hasn't left in for twenty some years. So he was like revealing his secrets on how how come God still uses him after twenty some years, and still his Holy Spirit manifests and he heals and all that. So he was revealing his kingdom, and he said. <clears throat> He prays like this, if it's for a dollar miracle or a million dollar miracle, saying like the quantity wise, you know, he's, whether, whatever the quantity is, he asks fervently, even for one dollar miracle, the same way he would ask for a million dollar miracle. He would ask with the same fervent for hours and hours until God gives it to him. Now, when he's, Praying for a sick, whether it be for a fever or for a cancer. He prays really fervently as if they're the same thing. Really fervently and then he casts out the demons strongly, powerfully. Whether it be one demon he's casting out or hundred demons or thousands of demons that he's cast out. He would, he would cast out with the same fervent, fervent fire when he's doing that. And... He said he started out with preaching to one person. One person. And he said he preached to the one person the same way he would preach to tens and thousands of millions of people. He said the fire that he keeps is the same because he keeps even the smallest thing that he gets. He gives the same thing, same thanks unto the Lord as he's giving unto the... Uh, a really big miracle. So, so here's 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 some key for the kingdom of God is given to the diligent people, diligent people. And Abraham was diligent. He was he woke he woke up early in the morning. You know when when God asked to for for Isaac to to the sacrifice of Isaac, he woke up early in the morning. And he, he, he didn't let um, Sarah know when Sarah is all sleeping and he took, took him. And if you look at Job, Isaiah, even Jesus was diligent. He prayed every night, every night. And everybody's just diligent for the kingdom of God belongs to those diligent people. Even earthly people who are carnal, if they're diligent, then they're really successful. And usually they're successful in their life. Now, I ask the Lord, Lord, I, I get it about diligence, but teach me something more about this diligence. Reveal unto me. And then the Lord gave me a dream. And in this dream, there was a teacher teaching about diligence. And he and then he suddenly wrote on the blackboard, he he wrote love. And he, he said, Love is the root of diligence. Love. Now I was thinking, love. How's love? Let me let me think about love. When you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, and you love His kingdom with all your heart, and you love His people, and you you genuinely love the people of God or people of God, you want to work really your best because God has given you this opportunity, and you you really take this with precious. Uh, we, you, with, with precious thanksgiving, you take this with love. And then you're like, I'm going to work hard for the people, for this company, because I love these people and love this kingdom. And I love God and I love love the Lord. And, and because I love the Lord, I'm going to be diligent. Because I love Jesus, I'm going to seek his face and do his will. With this love, I'm going to be diligent. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go around looking for things, things to do, you know, for the kingdom of God. Because God gave everything to you in your possession and you should 
with love take care of these things. Oh yes, love, like, because Jesus loves me so much, I'm going to return the love unto God. And this is the key to diligence, and this is the key to the kingdom of God. For love is the greatest, for the greatest gift, it says in the Bible, is love. And you should love your Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. So when you're doing things, when you're praising the Lord, praise Him, praise, praise God with all because you love Him. Not because of any, any, any other thing or to you want to show off or something. No, but because you genuinely love the Lord. When you're ministering to your friends, love Him and talk to Him with all the love and they will sense the love that you really have for them and they, they will listen to you and they'll come to church as you bring them and evangelize, they might believe in Jesus Christ because they see the love. And for this should be the greatest gift. And now I'm starting to understand and everything's just lovely, you know? Everything, I hear the music, you know, and I understand, wow, God's, God's trying to please, you know, please us through this music. And, you know, I'm just hearing and I'm just thanking God, praising God, even though it might be uh, not glorifying God or anything. The music itself, but you know, I'd, I'd be like, you know, thank you, Jesus, for trying to please me. And there's this person that I that I've been studying. He's a president of Korea, uh, of South Korea right now. And then, you know, he his life, he, he he was genuinely loving the people, and his dream was to make these people out of poverty so they can enjoy life and so they can, you know, have money to eat and feed. And he hated. People suffering. So he said, Lord, I'm going to make this. Uh, I want to work to create more jobs for the people, to create more future for the people. So because he, he, he realized if, if you don't have any job, it's really miserable. It's re the most miserable person in the life is having no job, having nothing to really work for. And because of this, he kept on working, working. And God made him the CEO of Hyundai, and he God made him the president, and now he's you know working for a people with real real diligence. He doesn't even sleep; he just he just continues continues on. And and we need to we need to command our spirit like this in the name of Jesus Christ, my spirit awake in the name of Jesus. You sleepy Christian, wake, awake. Awake my spirit, control my mind, control my body, control this sleepiness so I can pray unto the Lord, so I can glorify God because the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. And you know, you need to let the spirit control your mind and your body. Don't let the body control your mind and your spirit. Let the spirit control and command unto your spirit. Spirit, in the name of Jesus, wake up! Everybody, if you... Believe this with faith. Just pray over your spirit. In the name of Jesus, wake up. Wake up. Control this mind. Control this fleshly desires. Control this thoughts. In the name of Jesus, spirit, kill those dirty thoughts. In the name of Jesus, kill these ugly thoughts. In the name of Jesus, kill that. And then it will really happen because your spirit will now take control. And ask the Lord, Holy Spirit, give unto me the kingdom. For the kingdom is surely in you because kingdom of God is a spirit. Kingdom of God is a spiritual realm where God lives, reigns, and rules. Therefore, and this kingdom of God is in you through the spirit of God. So awaken the spirit and awaken your mind and awaken your body and be diligent and the kingdom of God shall be yours. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray for these people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Save these people, save these families, and make them spiritually, spiritually, financially, physically blessed in the name of Jesus. And let the kingdom of God manifest in their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, guys, let's get strong. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen.